Hey there. Today's topic is when loud creates unintended silence. So recently I was talking with my mom and dad and it was clear to me that my mom was not hearing me. So what did I do? I raised my voice so that she could hear me. And what happened is she kind of got mad and she left the room. My dad looked at me and he rather confused and he says, why are you yelling at your mom? And what I realized was that my father had his hearing aid in, my mother did not. So my intention was so she could hear me, but I blew it because I raised my voice. And when I raised my voice, it sounded like an attack on her. That's how she received it. So another scenario, similar topic. I was participating in an online conference recently and one of the speakers is, is rather a notable person and I was really looking forward to hearing what he had to say. Um, so it was virtual. But he talked up here like we couldn't hear him if he just talked normal. And what I found is it totally changed his message because there was an intensity, abrasiveness to it that really rubbed me the wrong way. So he lost me as an, I became silent as an audience member. And another scene, another example that perhaps you've been involved in and done in, inadvertently or have witnessed others is when there's a language barrier. And you think that if you raise your voice, they'll be able to hear you. But the fact is, is it's a language barrier. It's not about volume typically. So what do you do? What do you do to avoid that happening? And so here's four things that I have learned work very well. So one is check in. Check in with the person and make sure that you, they can hear you okay. Am I loud enough? Can you hear me okay? Now, if that's true with one-on-one -on -one as well as um, with a group. And when I speak to people in a, an audience, I often will engage somebody that's sitting in the back and ask them if they will help me know whether I'm talking loud enough. And of course, if you've got microphones and stuff, you rely on those. So, but, but asking, is, is my voice loud enough? Particularly if you're with someone that has some hearing issues. Number two, you know, if you're in an environment that's just inherently noisy, and if, you know, construction projects or maintenance going on in a building or, or any of that stuff, just pause and wait or shift location. And I know sometimes when I'm with a group, there'll be a, maybe an intercom that'll come over with some kind of announcement. And I just stop because if I try to speak over it, again, I change the energy of what I'm trying to deliver. So third thing is as you're talking, and this, again, with one person or many, pay attention to where your voice is coming from. So right now, I'm, I'm, I'm coming from my diaphragm. But if I raise my voice, my voice feels like it's up here in my throat. And there's actually research on the internet that will talk about how people actually have a, a, a negative response to that loud voice, whether it's yelling or just loud. So pay attention, where are you coming from? Um, are you raising your voice? And because your, your words will be missed if you raise your voice. And the last thing on my list is um, trust, your, trust your technology. Trust and use your technology. And you know, if you, if you have troubles hearing, think about getting some help with your hearing. Um, but if you're around people that you know that are hard of hearing, maybe you can adjust and make sure that when you talk, because I can talk louder without yelling, it's a distinct difference there. So. My mom, bless her heart, I feel so bad. I apologize to her, and um, I feel really awful, but she gave me the gift of this message to you. So pay attention. Remember, talking loud from up here really changes the message, and people will lose the, lose the meaning of your words, but they'll hear you yelling at them. That is all. Thanks for tuning in.